Okay, I think we can officially kick it off now. So this is lightning talk sessions. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with uh, the idea of lightning talks. It's so so familiar. Thank you very much. So the Imakara Lightning Talk no session has been this kid more. Tabum Minasan Lightning Talk no kono format to tabum narrated to Moskido. What I should have got the Kimon again elevator pitch the Yuana format to the Sorezore to dance and Katacha Gofunkan no Jikama Tairanimas. The Gofunkan Tatsto Kono Yona Kanji de Okay. So each one has a five minutes, and five minutes is up. And uh, I think this idea is called a Dora Musume in Japanese. Okay, Dora ladies, right? And so she ring the bell, said you have to, all the presenters, you have to shut your mouth up. Okay? So this is the, time's, the sign for time's up. And before time's up, I also give you a warning sign. So a minute to go, I let you know. And 30 seconds to go, I let you know. And uh, you ring again. And time's up. Okay? It's no more extension. Right, that's clean enough. So all the lightning talk speakers are all gathered up over here. So if anybody of speakers are still back on there, please come up to the front. Okay. Okay, just before officially kicking off, just my quick introductions. I'm not just uh, the guy who's organizing a party. えっと、ちょっと簡単な自己紹介なんですけど、私別にあのパーティーの、え、感じだけをやってるものではありません。え、神谷良一郎と申します。え、my <笑> So I used to work for a management consulting firm and investment banks, and I'm just personally curious about programming, so I just did it. And I resigned last year, and I tried to do the startups. Um, but I just find myself, is I, actually, I, I'm, I suck in the programming. So I just try to connect with people. That's why I met with the PyCon. I thought I started to start a it ま、いろんな人と知り合えて、え、なんか自分のキャリアにもつながるかなと仕事にもつながるかなと思って始めようと思いました。ま、そんなこと言ってる間にこういうふうに5分が経つとまたなりますので、そうなったらもうまたあい
this can be multiple Python. And you type conversion, look, 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 uh, empty string, false, it, false, ah, uh, bool, false, it, there. Uh, okay, if statement not used. It seems ba bad because it generates like ra uh, like maloc in C language. Oh, uh, uh, it, oh no. <laughs> My, oh. Okay. Uh, oh, please <laughs> use Internet tools in Fizzbuzz. Okay, but it's like Internet tools. Okay, cycle and uh, infinity loop and. Feed but feed next feed but next get next 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 okay but true Python is not used list <laughs> do you think it possible yes we can okay hit loop can be uh, created using the question uh, <laughs> oh okay loop that <laughs> okay. Uh, Fizz was black. Fizz was blue. blue. Fizz was equal zero or one. Zero or one. one. Uh, number zero or the fizz out of the fizz is zero. But zero or one. Fizz was one one. It seems like binary system. Yes, binary system. Okay, PSP. <laughs> Sorry, call method. <laughs> you just sorry, look. Feed bad, feed bad. Okay. One minute to go. One. But, feed bad. You might say, say it, no risk. No risk! Uh, but, I know. But, um, sorry. String, string, eh, string has a list, alright, set, structure. No, I think no, it. <laughs> Ato 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, no list. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Thank you very much. Time is just uh, five seconds. It was five seconds to go. Nice wrap up. This is PyCon. That was really, really awesome pitch. That was really awesome pitch. I think that you really got a wrong MC. I think he must be the one on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. It's, he, actually, you gave me a lot of pressure on myself, too. Okay, next one is, uh, um, okay, 4-1. Um, and, uh, and also, the like, next one, sorry, just give me a second. Right? So, oh, no, Ochi-ai-san. So, run there. So, ne you are, you'll be the next one. Just make sure you're ready. Okay, so this one is 4-1. Uh, Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about my uh, Python project, Nextbell Pi, and online I also mentioned the uh, PyCon next year in Taiwan, but I think I have not uh, not too many times, so I'm going to skip that. There also be a new talk later. Okay, my name is uh, Wang Liangbo, and I'm from Taiwan, and I'm still a college student studying bioinformatics. And I have to say, bioinformatics is the best example for big data. And while this uh, first sounds a little bit confusing, because uh, this is how uh, a biological experience like in my high school, so how can this be big data? Is that uh, our lab hired millions of researchers uh, keep doing experiment 24 hours, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, like this? <laughs> no, uh, that's not the truth. The truth is that, <laughs> okay, don't tell my professor. Okay, and so I'm going to explain the uh, next biopi, the next meaning. Uh, first, it stands for next generation sequencing. It's a new biological technology. We can read out, uh, which can 
read out DNA sequence from genome and it's really high throughput. It can pr uh, produce a uh, few terabytes per run. <coughs> and here's how the data looks like. Here's a part of a uh, human genome and the part is a gene. If this gene gets mutated and you have higher probability to develop cancer. Okay. So uh, if you want to use uh, Python to further look into this data and you uh, you first think of using BioPython and uh, we are new, all new to BioPython, so we can check out their tutorial first. And here's how their tutorial looks like. Okay, uh, actually it's not friendly enough, so, okay, first, if you have time, if you are interested in BioPython, please help them uh, porting their document to Spinix or Wiki. Just join their mailing list, and you can see their progress. Okay, and let's keep on our data processing, that if we need to read in the uh, sequencing data, we, uh, first we need a file parser, and here's how the file format looks like. Yeah, it's actually simple, and but if you want to read it in, in BioPython, then uh, actually uh, it makes it a little bit complicated because the fundamental, uh, the fundamental class for storing, uh, storing uh, sequence is a little bit complicated, and <coughs> actually there are three modules doing this uh, faster reading, so I think it's not a good practice to write similar things many times, and if you try to write your own, which is uh, very simple, just like this code, and you get uh, better performance and also the simplicity. Okay. So uh, our next BioPy, the next meaning stands for we want to improve uh, the current BioPython, so make it uh, capable to uh, process uh, big data, and also we want to try to uh, 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 wrap some uh, good package like Python for same files, and also uh, we can use SVG instead of PDF for producing uh, data visualization on net. And Pandas is a good uh, tool for uh, R-like data frame. It's very good for further data analysis. So <coughs> uh, in the end, we want to provide an efficient interface for basic bio objects. And we know we are all scientists. We don't like to uh, read documents very often. So I try to make uh, I take uh, great care for writing documents, so keep it simple, and also uh, for the API parts and uh, for the development part, how do you contribute your code? Okay. And we are still in plan, so if you're interested in next gen, uh, in this next BioPy, you can search us on GitHub or using Google. Okay. Oh, I have time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, PyCon APEC next year will be held in uh, Taiwan, so. Uh, uh, so, uh, see you next year. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you. That was a minute to go. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Okay, so you did next. You ready? That's that hook up. Okay, good. That was really great intro. Um, is that a project are all coming up from the Taiwan, all the contributors? It's all from Taiwan. So good. Right, so PyCon Taiwan would be a good place. I mean, are you gonna be one of the speakers, definitely? Be great, okay. Okay, so I think there's a little bit of change um, in our orders, but now it's, the, okay, you ready? Yeah, okay. Uh, hi, my name is David, hi, my name is David Orkin. I'm a database engineer at Rakuten. Uh, today I wanna talk real quickly about Python and data warehouse. So one of the common tasks that you're faced to do in a data warehouse is work with <laughs> Uh, Excel. So working with Excel is a necessary evil. Uh, we already had a Python code base, so I wanted to leverage that. And uh, I assumed there would be an existing library to work with Excel files. And as we all kind of know, programmers are lazy. So I don't know if anyone knows the backstory <laughs> of this. But basically, a retired man in Japan created beautiful art in Excel. Uh, and this is really beyond my capability of Excel. But usually, Excel is not so pretty. So I tried a couple of the existing libraries that were out there. OpenPyXL and XLRD were the first two that I tried. They would work with some of the Excel files we had, but not others. Um, they couldn't really reproduce the exact Excel format that we needed. It was a really kind of very specific format that we wanted. Uh, and there was no easy way to manipulate graphs in the Excel files. So this is actually where Python's uh, element tree came to the rescue. I don't know if people know this, but basically an Excel file, or at least XLSX, is a zip file. So once you unzip it, really you can just work with the XML files that are underneath it, uh, which is what we ended up doing. And then you rezip it up and you have a working XML file. 
uh, sorry, a working Excel file. Uh, another kind of use case is uh, using JPipe to interface with Teradata. If some people aren't familiar with it, what Teradata is is a large uh, enterprise data warehouse. Uh, sadly, they don't offer any kind of native Python interface. We tried to use ODBC, which is our logical first choice, but it just wasn't working. And we wanted to use Jython, but it wouldn't support all the libraries that we needed. This is where JPipe came to the rescue. JPipe is a cool little binding library that lets you talk between Python and Java using uh, JNI. Uh, once we did that, we were able to get the JDBC driver working, and we could do the rest in Python. Uh, another common task is really working with PDF files. Uh, PyPDF2 is a good library for that. Uh, you can do a lot of simple things with that, like extracting document information, uh, splitting and merging PDF documents. It also handles things like encryption and decryption of PDF files. Uh, some of the other kind of use cases that we're using at Rock 10 is, uh, like a lot of companies doing our data warehousing initiatives, we use R and Python for those. And uh, again, if you want to do things like continuous integration, Python and Jenkins is a kind of natural match. And again, if anyone wants to contact me, uh, feel free to contact me on Facebook. It's probably the best way. And that's really it for my talk. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So that was David. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. So actually, you're, you're working for Rakuten. You? That's why you speak Japanese, too. Just now, but j uh, just now you spoke to me in Japanese. <laughs> that was great. Wow. There's a lot of community around that kind of things within Rakuten as well. In, I mean, Rakuten is a you know, big e-commerce company in Japan. Sorry. Uh, we really at Rakuten support a lot of different languages. We do have a fairly large Python community, R community. Um, we, we use a lot of things as, as also one of the big uh, sponsors here. Atlassian Tools is another big part of our technology suite. Is any one of your colleagues also come in and join us? <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one representing today, so sadly that's true. Maybe next time, next yeah. time, it's definitely. Thank you. Okay, so th thank you very much. And uh, next, We're good to start. のライトニングトークの順番なんですけど、ちょっと順番が前後しちゃったんですけど、この後は、えっ、ー、と、オフィシャルウェブサイトに載ってるのと同じ順番でいきます。今、ハーマンさんで、えー、その次が落合さんですね。よろしくお願いします。Just I give them a couple of minutes before we can start. Like they did. There was a little bit of shake up for the order of the speakers, but we are going to be back to the standard order of speakers, which is published on the official website as well after this. Ah, that works now. Hey, it's all for you. Okay, hi everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm going to talk a bit about JSON schema validation, um, and that's not really specific to Python, so I'm going to make it specific for Python. And then even more specific, just for web development. And then even more specific, just for cats. Um, so for those of you who don't know what a cat looks like in JSON, it looks mo mostly like this. Like it has a name, an age, it loves bananas and pancakes, and it has a picture. And uh, we have like identified that there's this massive gap in the market, especially amongst developers, that developers really need an API um, to upload their cats and show it to everyone and keep track of where they are and so on. So They've really been pounding down our door, and like, they want uh, API for cats. So we're going to give that to them. And we're going to use JSON schema to do that. JSON schema is basically a way to uh, define valid JSON objects. And despite the really ugly formatting I used here to put it into one slide, it's actually a valid JSON object itself. Um, and this defines a valid cat. So it has a name, and it's type string, age, it's minimum zero, and so on. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, I think, once you just look at it. And you'll see the only required field is the name. 
Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple uh, to do JSON schema in general, but what do you do in Python specifically? So as you'd come to expect from Python, um, there are a number of libraries you can choose between when you want to do JSON schema validation. Uh, two of the most prominent ones are really creatively named. The one is JSON schema, and the other one is JSON schema validator. Uh, you can just find them on PyPy or on the JSON schema website. And I'll be using JSON schema here just because it's more actively maintained and it's up to date with the latest draft of the JSON schema uh, project. Uh, so yeah, you can see all you do is you import JSON schema and you call validate and you give it a JSON object, uh, which is just a dictionary in this case, and the schema you defined, which is also just a Python dictionary. And then if there is a problem with the formatting of the JSON object, then it'll say validation error, uh, something is wrong. So in this case, it's uh, three is a string and it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a string, it should be a number. Um, so what we did at Gengo is we integrated this with a framework we call the Ganter. It's based on Bottle and uh, it allows you basically to use JSON schema validation just as a decorator to a function. So you can just specify a specific JSON schema and then automatically the validation will happen and you'll get, as you can see here, uh, when you go into the controller, you'll get a clean data object that's already validated to be va uh, in the format that you expected. Um, yeah, so this makes things pretty simple, and in a few lines of Python, we could now create an API for <laughs> uploading your cat uh, through JSON. But this only really serves developers, and the developers' family members saw that they have this amazing tool they can use to upload cats, uh, and their family members started asking us that actually they really like they really like a web API, I mean a web front end for this. So they asked, and we'll deliver. Um, and we gave them a web front end, and this is where re JSON schema really shines. You can just uh, create an HTML form, and you can use the same JSON schema dictionary that you defined in Python, and send that to the client side um, to be validated through another J like a JavaScript library such as JSV, for example. Um, and that'll then basically allow you to use the same validation on the server side and on the client side while you only define the rules once. Uh, so, for example, here you'll see. Oh, you didn't type a name. The cat's name is too short. The age should be a string, not, I mean, it should be an integer, not a string. Uh, and you can immediately see, you can immediately give the user feedback that the information they input is invalid. And you did all this uh, with only one rule definition, where normally in web development, I don't know uh, who of you are web developers, but normally you'll have go? one for the client side and one for the server side. So this is saving a lot of trouble. Python is a great fit for this, uh, basically because it allows you to do, like, variables inside the dictionary. It really looks a lot like a JSON object anyway. Uh, it allows you to do easy internationalization and customize the JSON schema to fit your own needs, such as custom error messages or whatever you need. And uh, sending it to the front end is as easy as json.dumps. So yeah, that's it. Uh, if you want to find out more, check out jsonschema.org. The, 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 the decanter web framework is on GitHub over there. And uh, the cat validate project that I just showed you to show this off is also on there. Just check it out. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. That was a good time. 20 seconds to go. Thank you, Harman. Okay, we are queuing up the next one. Thank you. Ah, so it's a Japanese person. Is it okay? Ah. So next one is the uh, OCI san for Kit Language Compiler. Okay. <laughs> so you'll be in Japanese. Okay, so please use your non verbal languages as much as you can. <laughs> body language, the Kiru Dagi Gambatu. I and you hungo de gomena sai, eh, to code kit language in a compiler and see the setsmen shimas. I'm called your chai, eh, enjoy with Python about uh, 10 years ago, eh, from uh, recently, eh, uh, Koti, Reform, eh, uh, Colander, eh, uh, and so on, eh, uh, translate into Japanese. Pim pom pom pom, use no jikan des. え、ジャングセキュリティアップデートです。全然話違ってごめんなさい。え、ついさっき、えっと、パイパイ見たら上がってました。え、ディレクトリトラバーサルゼジャクセが、え、SSI とインクルードにあるようです。
、えー、使っている方は、えー、調べてみてください。以上、ニュースの時間でした。はいえー、キットランゲージです。えー、What is Kit Language?、えー、Found on Markup、えー、Code Kit. Do you know Code Kit? <laughs> compile to site HTML and compile the,、uh, on deploy, but not dynamic t e s t とってもシンプルです。SSI の文法が使えます。Competition is restructure text, あとは Markdown, j a d e h a m l これ、j a d e h a m l これ、デザイナーに私見せたときに言われました。うん、OK, great. But by the way, tell me how to write プレイン HTML、プリーズ。うん。プレイン HTML。プレイン HTML です<笑>、えー。デザイナーの人たちはやっぱプレインの HTML を書きたいと。えー、DSL なんかいらんのだと、えー。そういうことをよく言います。で、そういう意味で言うと、えー、キットランゲージでは3つしか使用ありません。えー、インクルード、えー、変数の、えー、保存と、あとは置き換えです。この2つ、えー、この URL で書かれています。はい、えー、インクルード。まあ、見ての通りですね。えーこのベースのファイルです。えー、to include header and footer、うん。こいつをコンパイルするとこんな感じになります。あと変数です。top lines of the title index. This bind index e c l a m a t i o n mark to title variable. でこれを流すとですね。エクストラクトとインデックスビでよくこれまあ見た瞬間にあのプログラマーは聞きます。これ分岐できないの、ループできないの、えー、変数のフォーマットできないの、えー、あるいはテンプレートの継承できないのできません。えー、<笑>もっと、えー、なんかやりたいときにはテンプレートエンジン使ってください。えー<笑>ということで、パッケージとして、コードキットラングというパッケージ作って、ギットハムに、とパイバイに公開しています。で、あとは、えー、リポジトリはギットハブに置いてあります。これ入れると、えぇ、ー、パイキットラング C というコマンドがインストールされます。えー、パラメータ、今、入力と出力のファイル、これ2つだけです。インプ<笑>コマンドの名前は、パイキットラング C。ファーストパラメータ、インプットファイル、パスネーム。And、second parameter means HTML file to output. この他のオプション、いろいろ計画してるんですけど、あの何にもまだ作ってないです。ごめんなさい。<笑>で、でもやります。なんだ、切れてないことをしない。あと1分です。インデックスと PY。あ一回ブラブラブラって書いてみたかったので書いてみました。あ、終わっ,終わっ,っやったことはこれだけですね。えー、ピップで入れて、えー、移動して、えー、コマンドを打つと。はい。えー、ということで、まあ何もないので試してください。お願いします。ありがとうございました。Thank you very much. I think it's all of us get、uh, what he's trying to say. Although he's speaking, but I think he's all speaks in,、uh, we all speak in Python and programming languages anyway. 多分あの英語の方たちも多分スライドを見たりとか、結局みんな Python のプログラミング言語を話すので、多分分かっていただけちゃうんじゃないのかなと思います。じゃあいいですかね。
いいですかね。じゃあ、よろしくお願いします。<笑>ポップインホっていう製品をうちの会社で Python を 100% でずっと作ってきてるんですけれども、5年間ずっと開発を続けてきたので、その部分のご紹介です。でどんなサービス,あのサービスかっていうと,、えー、と、基本的にはプッシュ通知出すだけっていうシンプルなサービスなんですが、もう営業側の都合によって GPS 連動したりとか w i f i 連動したりとかそういうふうに機能追加がどんどん来ちゃっているようなサービスを開発してきましたでサーバー側はずっと2名で開発してで運用しながら開発をずっとやってきてその中で機能追加をとにかく機能を追加して機能を追加してってやってきていて新しい技術を入れたりとか行動の古い部分を書き直すっていうことにお金を割くよりもとにかく機能を追加するってことをずっとやってきていてもしくはパフォーマンスが悪いって時でももうお金で解決したやつってサーバー強くして解決みたいなことをずっとやってきたんでこの5年間やってどう,なるかどうなったかっていうところのご紹介ですで行動の行数は最初は、えー、ドコモのアイコンシェルっていうフィーチャーホーム向けのサービスでスタートしたんですけれども Android、iPhone 対応するときにドバッと増えたりとかユーザーの絞り込みに対応するときにドバッと増えたりとかっていうふうに階段状に行動が増えてっていうような感じになってましたテストケースもえー、と最初テストなんて全然知らなかったんで、書いてなかったんですけれども、ジェンキンスを得たりとかすることに、主に API 作るときにテストがドバドバッと増えてっていうようなことをずっとやって、API リファクタリングしてまたテストコードが増えてってやって、最近やっとあのテストをするっていう文化が会社の中でも根付いてきて、テストコードが増えたりとかしてきているんですが、ついに先月、ユーザーが1000万人に達成したんで、それでちょっと今日せっかくだから発表しようって,って発表しました。ありがとうございます。で、えっ、ー、と、もう本当 Python 素人の頃で、僕もあのこのプロジェクトで Python 初めてやって、もう一人のメンバーも Python を書いたことないっていう状態からやってきたんで、もうコードがぐちゃぐちゃになっちゃっていて、もうちょっとどうしようもない感じになっちゃっていて、もう二人じゃ手に負えないだろうって話になっているので、今後はきれいに整理していく必要がある。っていうことを今会社の中で考えてるんですが、いかんせん人が足りないので、どうしようかなと思ってるところなんで、皆さん人来てください。自社開発っていうのはゴールがないプロジェクトなんで、そういうのが面白いって思う人、一つのシステムずっとあと5年間開発してくれるような人とか、一応1000万いるんで、1000万ユーザーのシステム設計とかやりたいなっていう人とか、大規模なデータって最近トレンドだよねって思ってる人が来てくれると、すごい助かるんですが、我々こそはって方は、ファイトした募集中なんでぜひとぜひぜひ来てください。以上です。<笑>ありがとうございました。これは採用される方は英語の方も採用。タで欲しいと。They are also looking for the English speaker as well as a part of the team. So it will be a good opportunity for everyone. Hey, this can I? Hi, Yoroshiko Negai Shimas. Yoroshiko Negai Shimas. Okay,、uh, I'll talk about the Garland Dispatch.、Uh, first, I'm stuck on speaking English. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm Hiro KY. I love to、uh, write in、uh, Python programming and、uh, I'm contributing to Django and、uh, Django local flavor now.、Um, I like、uh, to write an、uh, application to using、uh, Django and Python.、Uh, I'm admin of、uh, Django project.jp. This site is a、uh, um, uh, Django to,、uh, portal site in Japan. I'm admin and maintain it. And I work for a b i p r o u d company. Okay. I'll talk about the、uh, peer risky library. Not just for Pyramid, not just for Django.、Um, there are some pure risky libraries, for example, URL Relay, or、um, example code published by Whiskey.org that is very useful and easy to run. Answer、uh, Web Dispatch. Okay. And finally, I created a、uh, Garland Dispatch,、um, Dispatcher, flexible dispatcher for Whiskey applications. That now available on PyPI. I released it、uh, three days ago. Now 0.1 version. 
you can get. And now, 2.7 and 3.7 Python support. Um, the fucking 3.1 I didn't support. Okay, basically says, uh, first, you should create a tree, tree constructed by nodes. Um, just the tree like uh, routing or uh, URL settings uh, in Django. Um, creating a node can get uh, matching patterns and, and the first argument. It's a list of uh, matchings. The past matching get uh, now an uh, empty string. It means uh, this, this tree will match a uh, pass info, uh, just it uh, root pass. So, and you register, you can register to your uh, whisk application to your case argument and created three and you create a whisk application and server it. Just do it. Okay. Node. What is node class? This is uh, just not for a uh, whisk application. It is um, creating some uh, that the node gets environment dictionary and returns some object you like. This example um, register register the case to your doors uh, just a string, and you can get um, you can get this value from accessing an attribute case. So you can use this string, uh, for example, some identifier like a uh, case name, a uh, root name, like uh, in the pyramid. And you can create a hierarchy that is a um, node object can uh, children attribute to create a hierarchy um, nodes in the, um, the trees. And this example, a parent node is a very much uh, just slash passing for and uh, children, uh, one child named Shinku will match fix. So in this, using this tree, uh, passing in for uh, slash fix will match a uh, child node and can get um, Shinku string by accessing a case attribute. And when the pass info was the slash, just the root, uh, root path, you can get a parent node. And in this case, you can get uh, those strings by accessing a attribute case. One minute to go. Oh, uh, matching is not uh, only a pass matching. It is a function to return a function. The return function can get the uh, environment and return some values. So um, in this case, uh, match will uh, just pass slash and request method get. And serve lambda matching is just uh, match uh, will match uh, any cases. Okay, and you can get URL arguments. The pass matching return value is uh, to go. just a URL uh, argument, so you can get like this. Okay, and more I. The future fixes. Uh, let's write dispatcher. Writing dispatcher is uh, very, very um, good for running and uh, release it. And please give me a feedback to uh, this Gargant dispatcher. Thanks for listening and thanks for this great conference. Thank you very much. もうこれ楽しい時間もうすぐ終えてこれで最後のライトニングトークです。So the time flies and now we got the last speaker for the lightning talk sessions. Snow when you're ready? 準備が OK の時に教えてください。For you. えっとそれではえーペップエイトとまあオートペップエイトということでえーツールの紹介をさせていただきます。服部秀夫と申します。ツイッターやってましてえ読みにくいですけど H ハットっていう ID でやってます。でえっとまあ C とかえ Python とか Z シェルが好きでえっと Python のプロジェクトを結構今までいろいろ作ってきて、えー、と PG マジックっていうグラフィックスマジックスの、まえー、とバインディングだったりとか
、えー、とおたまパイっていう、えー、と画像検索ライブラリーだったりとか、えー、と名前がカオスなんですけど、現雑誌コンプっていう Z シェルの保管関数を入ってくれる、えー、とモジュールだったりとか、あとニャーっていうあのリアルタイムでレストをプレビューしてくれるツールだったりとか、いろいろ作ってます。でコードは GitHub とか Bitbucket とかに置いてます。で今日なんですけれども、えっとまあ、皆さんもご存知だと思うんですけど、PEP8 であると思うんですけど、えーまあ、変数の命名規則だったりとか、えっと、スペースの数だったり、空行の数とかを、えー、結構細かく規定して書かれているのが PEP8 ですで。2013年の8月1日に更新されました。えー、と PEP8 モダナイゼーションということで、えーとまあ、1行あたりの文字数制限に関する記述だったりとか、えー、例外に関する記述だったりとかあとは Python1.5.2 に関する記述が削除されてたりとか、まあ、あとは、えー、と Python2 と3に関する記述が、えー、とある程度明記されてきたりっていうのが、えー、ありましたで、えーとまあ、PEP8 えっと、皆さん気にされてると思うんですけど、えっと、そういうのを、えっと、いちいち自分で直すのめんどくさいんで、えっと、オートペップエイトっていうツールを作りました。で、普通のシンプルなコマンドラインのツールで、えー、自動的に、えー、ペップエイトに従ったコードを出力してくれるツールになります。で、これはペップエイトドットパイっていうツールがモジュールがもともとあるんですけど、それを使って、その指摘をもとに、えー、とコードを自動で修正するっていうツールです。今はバージョン 0.9.4 になってます。で、えっ、ー、と、例なんですけど、かなりシンプルな例なんですけど、えー、ともともとこういう、えー、ペップエイトに従ってないコード、えー、インポートのところで、まあ、間膜切りで2つ複数のモジュール読んでたりとかあとは関数を1行で書いたりとか関数の上に空行が1行しかないとかそういったところでオートペップエイト使うとちゃんとこう2行関数の上の空行を2行にしてくれたりとか開行を入れてくれたりとかあとインポートをちゃんと記述してくれたりっていうことをやってくれます。で、アグレッシブということで、もっと,、えー、と攻撃的に、えー、と修正したい場合は、ハイフン A つけると,、えー、と、ここだと、あの、if の、えー、not イコールのところを is not なんとかに、えー、と変えてくれたりっていうふうに、えー、いろんな使い方ができます。であとは、ハイフン D を指定すると,、えー、と、差分表示をしてくれたりとか、えー、とその他の、まあ、機能としては、まあ、その、ペップ8で規定されているエラーとかを、まあ、どれを無視するかとか、どれを選択するかっていうのを選べたりとか、あとは、1行あたりの最大行数を数字として、えー、マックスラインということで指定したりとか、まあ、あとは、えー、っと、ディレクトリー配下にある全部の Python ファイルを、まあ、リカーシブに見てくれる。あとは、ジョブ数を指定して、マルチプロセッシングを、えー、と使って、えーと、並列で処理させたりっていうふうなことができます。ということで、まあ、いつも心の片隅に PEP8 を思いながら、えー、とコードを書いてくださいで。ぜひ、オートペップエプトを使ってみてください。でここに、えー、プロジェクトのページがあるんで、またよかったら見てみてください。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。えー、最初にご紹介忘れたんですけど、今日のドラ娘の<笑>津田さんでした。I forgot to introduce her, her name, Mamiko for drumming girl. And also, I'd like to give our another big hand to the, all the Lightning Talk speakers. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> And from here, we are moving on to the closing.
それでは。それではあのクロージングセッションを始めたいと思います。So、we are wrapping up for the two days conference. And I'd like to have t e r a d a san for the closing speech. t e r a d a san, 最後の雑音、雑音だ。<笑>すごい感じだった。<笑>雑音の挨拶をお願いいたします。Thank you for coming. So, did you have fun? So,、uh, oh, thank you. <笑>楽しめましたか<笑>よろしくお願いします。OK、Thank you。So、oh, oh, we have we had、uh, two keynote speakers。So、ジョージブランド。Oh、oh、Thank you very much。Nice、nice keynote。あ、あれ、ラニアン。ラニアン。Sorry。So、thank you、thank you for two。Uh, a good speak. So thank you very much. So and we have a lot of a lot of speakers, a lot of sponsors. <laughs> many many sponsors. So、uh, many thank yous. Thank you very much. ありがとうございました。本当に多くのスポンサーの方々に支えられてこれをやっております。本当にありがとうございます。はい。And so we have we have so many a lot of Patron sponsors,、uh, individual sponsors, so thank you very much. Oak、uh, Patron sponsor, Nimo, eh, to Megumare Master. Hi. So, Patron sponsor feed, so, so, eh, to support for student and the travel fee, so, eh, to Patron sponsor, no, Katano, eh, to Hiova, this, eh, to Gaxi, Sien, to Katano, 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 Gaxi, Sien, to So last information. So uh, this uh, this place uh, is like、uh, Kogaku University. So uh, uh, three three people start. So、えー、工学院大学のえっ、ー、と三名の方にですねえっ、ー、と非常に助けていただいてえっ、ー、とこのカンファレンスを見ごあのなんとか、えー、やり続けることができました。本当にありがとうございました。Thank you, thank you very much. <笑> And next next so、uh, net. ネットバックスポンサーズ、ネットワークサポーターズ、そうヤマハ、えー、えー、ヤマハカンパニー、<笑>えっとヤマハさんにですね、えっとこのネットワーク構築とかですね、非常に助けていただいて、えっと皆さんのネットワークを提供させていただきました。Thank you very much <笑>。So thank you. So next information is.、Uh, ちょっとつまらない情報なんですけども、えーとえー、業務連絡です。まず、ロストアンドファウンド。忘れ物ですね、えー。ハンカチ、どなたかいらっしゃいませんかああ、そうなんですね。ちょっと、一応、結構手元にあるんですけども、これ,これはジャケットですかジャケットとか。これあたりのある方いませんか。傘、この緑色なんて特に。心当たりのある方。Anyone? Okay, so if you if you know one of these, then please just report to the headquarters. Then headquarters just move over to the same floor, so just outside of this room. そうですね。あの本部があの四階にあったんですけれども、今こちらに移動してますので、忘れ物心当たりある方はあのこちらの方までお越しください。And also the student discount refund. If you anybody of you haven't get the refunds, then please just report to the headquarters as well. と学生の方でですね、あの返金の方に申し込まれている方で、まだあの返金が終わってない方がいらっしゃるようなんですけれども、その方もあの終わり次第こちらに来ていただけるようにお願いいたします。And also that for the lost and found, I mean, if you don't report to headquarters today, by the end of today, that will be all trashed out by Ashita. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> 明日までにですね、あの忘れ物を取りに来ないとちょっと処分されてしまうようなので、お忘れの方は忘れずに取りに来てください。はい、えー、っと、no English. <laughs> okay, I think that's about it for I mean for. 
Okay, the conference is finishing today, but we got still have a sprint tomorrow, and we got a hundred people are joining. And if you haven't signed up yet, um, you don't have to sign up through the Compass. I think many of some of you has already signed up through the Compass, but you can just drop by the rooms. At スプリントについてちょっとご紹介したいと思います。明日スプリントが予定されていまして、で今100名以上の参加が見込まれているんですよね。でこれから登録なしでもお越しいただけますので、ぜひ来ていただければと思います。え、and also the the venue is the same place. I mean, but the eleventh floor, the ten a.m. slightly better than today, I guess. And just one thing is about no lunch and drinks, so just bring your money and your wallet. That's a bit. 受け付けはありませんので、明日は直接11階に朝10時にお越しください。でランチの提供は明日ありませんので、お財布を忘れずにお持ちいただければと思います。Okay, I think that will be about the sprints tomorrow. So shall we have?、Uh, I think okay, this event has been supported by you know you can see the many of people in our in our staff teachers. Shall we just get everyone on the stage? それではですね、あのスタッフの方を。これから紹介するコーナーに入りたいと思います。水色のシャツを着ているスタッフの方はステージに登ってください。Everybody, all the staff, please come up to the stage. ありがとうございます。えっ、ー、と50人以上のですね、えっ、ー、とスタッフに支えられて当日、えー、なんとかこれだけのことをできることになりました。本当に皆さん、はい、ありがとうございます。ちょっと一回前だけ写真撮らせてください。はい Thank you very much. Give them a big hand. Hey, and okay, so. As most of us, or I mean, everybody in the room should know, the next year's PyCon APAC will be in Taiwan. そうなんです。えっと来年のですね PyCon APAC は台湾での開催を予定しています。And、uh, to your surprise, we got a team online. Tim さんっていう方がですね来年座長をされる予定なんですけれども、今日はオンラインでつなぐ予定になってますので、少々お待ちください。And we are now trying to connect. Please, please turn off your Wi-Fi so that just give him more bandwidth so we can hear more clear voice of Tim with the next year's chairperson of PyCon APEC. Turn off your Wi-Fi.
is the very good thing user group in Japan. And uh, they are full of passion and uh, organized. So, even now, I always think about them because I have a very good impression. So, after that time, I help to organize local user group in Taiwan. And uh, I feel very good there are some good developed stand out to contribute their ability. And uh, I feel other people's passion about Python. Now, now that's it. So now I am organizing Icon APEC 2014. I hope I can show you the power of Python community in Taiwan. Icon APEC next year will have a whole day track about SIP. Scientific computer in Python. And uh, I will help everybody know each other. We, I, I hope we can make people connect more. Now, I hope you guys can look forward to the next year's Icon APEC. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys can make can come to next year's Icon APEC yeah. and uh, see the power of Python community in Taiwan. Okay. Happy to see you guys. That's my Thank you very much. See you, see you, see you, see you at Taiwan. Thank you very much. So, so, so last last information. So we will hold so PyCon JP so next year. So, but so shall we change it from me to uh, Takanori San? Uh, Takanori San is. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'd like to introduce this next chair. Okay, Hi. ready? Hi. Okay. Okay. Hi. Eto, I'm going to say that next year, PyCon JP will be held in Japan. However, Takanori San, Suzuki Takanori San, is here as a staff member, but next year's Zacho is a member. So, next year's Zacho is a member. So, next year's Zacho is a お、来年の座長ということで、えっと、決まりまして、来年を引っ張っていただくというふうにありました。ちょっとご紹介ということで、えっと、自身でスライド作ってるようなので、えっと、やりたいと思います。はい、どうもです。えっと、ここから日本語
。で、日本ではっていうと、壁、えー、パイコンではなくて、えー、パイコン JP2014 を開催いたします。で、2014なんですけど、場所は、まあ、多分東京。で、時期は、未定です。で、まあ、テーマとかキーノートとか、内容とか、値段とか、もろもろ、まあ、未定です。ところで、えー、私が座長になったわけですが、じゃ寺田さん何やんのみたいな寺田さん何なやるのって思われた方がいらっしゃると思いますが、えー、寺田さんは彼は日本の各地域の Python コミュニティの発展にこれから貢献していく予定です。<笑>ですので、まあ今日いらっしゃっている方でもいいんですけれど、その地域で Python イベントとかやりたいな。みたいな人たちは、ぜひこのボードアットパイコン JP っていう、えっ、ー、と、パイコン JP の一般社団法人のボードのアドレスにメールを送ってコンタクトしてください。こんな、こんなサポートしてほしいみたいなとか、こんなことできないのとか、僕たちこんなこと考えてるとか、どんどん送ってください。お待ちしています。まあ、寺田さんがやります。はい。<笑>えー、じゃあ話をパイコン JP2014 に戻しますが、えー、っと、さっき言った通り TBD で何も決まっていません。そこで、えー、パイコン JP2014 のスタッフを募集しています。で、スタッフになるには、まあ、運営メーリングリストっていうのがあるので、えー、っと、ここに入って興味があるとか言ってください。パイコン JP オーガナイザーズで検索すると、えー、っと、メーリングリストが出てきます。もしくは、私とか他のこのスタッフに、今日とか明日、えー、っと、来期のスタッフ興味あるんだけど、っていうふうに声をかけてください。ね、えっ、ー、と、今年のパイコンエパク2013は、まあ、過去最高のイベントだったのかなと、私は思っています。私は信じて、皆さんどうですかね。はい、はい、ありがとうございます。で、この、これからのスタッフたちで、あの、それを超える、一緒にですね、今年のこれを超える、一番の、今までで一番のパイコン JP を作りたいと思っています。で、そんなイベントやるので、皆さん、来年、ここで、ここではないな。場所わかんないのか。来年また会いましょう。パイコンで会いましょう。どうもありがとうございました。ダンキュー。Thank you very much. Thanks again. Give them a big hand again. Thank you. Okina Hatsho, Negaita Shimas. Arigato Gozai Masta. Ja, I guess, can I? Kai Seki, yes, can I? Mo. Hi. Ja, Kore de Closing of Shuro Shimas. We are about to close now. So, ah, okay, this time, so you can, ah, the Ushiro Karamo Tai Seki de Kimasa, you might have Shimat at the Mondeskedo, Nikai Seki Kara. See you tomorrow. That's p l e a s e So you can take the, the, the sprint. Okay, conference is finishing today, but we still have a sprint tomorrow. You are all welcome to join us for another day. Hi. And okay, just repeating myself, but if you still have a lost and found, wasure mono ka student discovery fund, ano, gakse no harai mono shigaru kata wa, de good, hitari, show me. 舞台を見て右側の出口を出た本部まで来てください。